Hello, today I'm going to be talking about Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan. This came out a couple of weeks ago and it follows the story of Ava, who is a 22 year old Irish woman um, who moves to Hong Kong after university to teach English as a foreign language um, and how she meets this uh, older English banker called Julian um, and her relationship with him and her relationship with a woman um, called Edith, who was a Hong Kong native, but um, was educated in the UK. I really wanted to love this book, um, but unfortunately I didn't. I don't think, like, the plot didn't draw me in very much. Um, and there were just quite a few things that really annoyed me about it that kind of didn't compensate for um, the, the, the charming and the charming parts and the like nicely written passages. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start with the nice things. And the first is all of these like Irishisms. So um, my boyfriend is Irish, he actually knows Nisha Dolan. And um, <laughs> like seeing her talk to these other like um, English and like English uh, educated um, people and having all these, these like tiny little squabbles about um, how to phrase things and uh, I just <laughs> I can really relate like how the Irish would say will we have a cup of tea instead of shall we have a cup of tea so we get this with Ava's relationship with these two people and then also with her like phoning home and talking to her like mom and her brother um, and I I really <laughs> really enjoyed that but also she's teaching English as a foreign language to these Hong Kongese children whose parents are paying for them to be taught British English so there's quite a lot of sort of meditating on um, British English versus Irish English and the kind of like idiosyncrasies of, of each. Um, and I really, yeah, I just love that aspect of it. There are also these occasional pastiches of, of like real life that I found very relatable. Like some of her inner monologue stuff was stuff that is very much part of my inner monologue and I know is part of everyone's, but we just don't like talk about. Um, and there was like one very specific thing about her stalking someone on Facebook by clicking like view friendship and then changing the URL to view the friendship of two other people. And it was just one of those things that was like, I've done this. I know other people have done this. We've never spoken about it. It's just something you have to kind of figure out and then you do. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put this down because it's a bit too shiny. Right, so the main thing I didn't like about it was the unlikable narrator. So it's told in the first person by Ava and I just found her really insufferable and really self-involved. And I thought that was odd because I tend to actually really like it when you have um, an unlikable protagonist. But then I've been thinking about it and I don't think she's like unlikable as as a person, um, but I think her her inside her brain is really unlikable. So um, I was just thinking of comparing it to like Humbert Humbert from Lolita, who is obviously like a deplorable human being, but his inner like personality um, is actually quite compelling. I enjoy it when unlikable people show their personality through their actions, um, through and through their words, but not like through their thoughts. There was actually one bit that um, like another character kind of absolutely nailed her personality. You keep describing yourself as this uniquely damaged person when a lot of it is completely normal. I think you want to feel special, which is fair, who doesn't? But you won't allow yourself to feel special in a good way. So you tell yourself you're especially bad. And that is like nail on the head um, because yeah, the way she the way she like thinks, the way it's narrated is that she's just like really, um, it's just like a different way of approaching life from everyone when in reality she's probably a pretty normal person um but yeah i just i found it so annoying i also find it extremely frustrating when you have an explicitly left-wing person who doesn't really acknowledge the fact that they are benefiting from capitalism she is literally a kept woman and yet has the audacity to to say like we should all be equal when someone is buying you everything that you're wearing and paying for the flat you live in, like, I don't think you can, they're, they're just, they're conflicting points of view. And she doesn't, she doesn't acknowledge that conflict and I really, oh, that really irritates me. From now on, there may be spoilers um, because I want to compare this book to Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Um, easy comparison to make, not only they, they were in the same debating society at uni, they know each other. Um, and obviously it's just like 
Irish characters, um, but they just have a very, they have a very similar vibe. Um, and I actually think they have very similar characters. I think Ava in Exciting Times basically is Frances from Conversations with Friends, a character I wanted to strangle for being so like self-obsessed and similarly like a communist who is doesn't have to pay rent. I think Julian was Nick but with some attachment issues, like the older man who kind of like has it together but kind of doesn't and actually needs company but actually but can't deal with having too much like emotional connection with someone. And then we have Edith, who's kind of like Bobby, but like super chill. Like she's always gonna be there and is always good. Um, and that's my thesis. <laughs> Just like with Francis and Conversations with Friends, I got so annoyed at Ava, like not going for what she wants. When she, this is real spoiler, when she breaks up with Edith and then she writes an apology and then she doesn't send it. And she romanticizes this concept of, of like the perfect apology. Um, and then actually just never acts on it and just like I guess she has a good reason to hate herself because she's really self-destructive and oh you know those books where you're just like talk to each other be adults she wants to be with Edith she loves Edith why doesn't she just apologize to Edith it wouldn't make as good of an end to the book but I don't think it's displayed in the rest of her character that she wants to be such like a martyr I really can't relate because when I notice that there's there's like a flaw in the way I'm interacting with the world, I work on it, you know? Like I try and fix relationships that I care about and she doesn't even send a text. Like, ridiculous. Um, really similar vibe to Sally Rooney. If you like Sally Rooney, you probably also would like Exciting Times, but was it exciting? Because I thought there would be a lot more kind of like Hong Kong glamour when really it was just about this sad Irish girl and that was the whole thing. This has been a video on Exciting Times by Nisha Dolan. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the book. Um, let me know your, your thoughts about it down in the comments below and I will see you soon. Bye.